Nicole, what the f is that behind your... Is that from work? You got the sexy Andy photo from work? I still have to cut it out because they gave me, like, the whole thing. I want that. So, like, one. I really wanted the big one. Like, At least you got one. <laughs> oh, I know. It was just so funny because my boss literally just goes, hey, look what I have. And I was, like, like choking. And she's like, do you want it? I'm like, yes. <laughs> uh Uh, bbb army welcome back to our channel bbb army hearts to hearts i am ruth <laughs> and i'm nicole good morning it is an early episode when we're filming this earlier than last episode too good morning <laughs> oh, you're just like good morning bbb army exactly just like how <laughs> robert williams saying like good morning um that's exactly i'm glad we're on the same page there <laughs> is, hello bbb army we are back it is the week before thanksgiving mm -hmm. it is a week before thanksgiving and it is a week before thanksgiving. Go by too fast. it is the week before thanksgiving and before you know it we're gonna go into december month <laughs> we're gonna go into december and for anyone that doesn't know after thanksgiving is ruth's birthday Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My birthday's next week. Well, let's not worry about that right now. We have something planned for that next week. <laughs> yes, today, BVB Army, we are going to be discussing the Rebels EP album. I don't have a hard copy, but I wish I had a hard copy of that. I know. They some people do. <laughs> what? I thought EP okay. I thought the EP only came out on like iTunes. I thought I could have swore there's a hard copy for this one. I could have swore there was, or maybe I'm making that up. Am I making that up? I could have swore. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like you're probably not. If someone does have it, I am extremely green jelly. But like, because I don't think the you know the night and the morning. I think yeah, those usually EPs the EPs come don't come out in hard copies. But I could have swore <sighs> this one was. I could be wrong though. It's morning. It's early. Chris, I apologize if I get my facts incorrect here. <laughs> Just like how we've done in the past, we've discussed all of the albums currently with BBB. We are now going back to their EPs when it comes to BBB. And first and last thing, I can't speak. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to discuss the very first one, Rebels EP, that was released on December 13, 2011. Mm, same year that set the world on fire came out mm. so it's pretty i think it's a safe it's safe to say that the rebels ep is pretty close to set the world on fire different it it's a little it, different like, but it's pretty much yeah. the same era <laughs> same same but different exactly mm -hmm. i know we always ask this question where were you when this ep or song came out i can't remember where it was but i do know i was definitely in high school when this ep was released and the songs were released so that's all i can really tell you i was also in school i couldn't remember if i graduated that year or not but i graduated the next year yeah I was still in school um ep hit me like a rock because i that was something that i did not expect from them and to be fair i didn't know what an ep was at first so i thought it's an album me too learn the hard way i'm like okay ep it's totally different it is different but it was a kind of nice special treat that we got these beautiful uh three songs from them and stuff which uh it's amazing um i know we got a one music video for one of the songs which is coffin so which and the funniest part about coffin is even though the song dropped on December 13th of 2011, the music video itself didn't get dropped until the following year on June 13th. True. But it's such a good music video. I love it. Oh, I know it is. I Okay. We, I feel like we have to discuss it here because I feel like this is something that a lot of fans were discussing back then. And I feel like it's Easter eggs that Andy always drops in his oh music videos. Andy always drops Easter eggs. Okay, let's let, let me hear it. Let me hear well, it. You know how obviously he's saying goodbye to like the old him, yeah. his past self, and then like embracing the new era of yeah. himself. I, I did see that in the really coffin music video where he closed the coffin on the old set the world we stitch version with yeah. the notebook. So oh god i know i was like oh my god and then i think what well, i think blackville brides even had after coffin music video was released they were actually doing a um a contest online where they wanted everyone i know it 
I can't remember exactly what it was for, um, but everyone had to take photos of themselves doing like the coffin pose and they wanted them to just be as creative as possible. I don't remember who won or what it was for, but that was a contest going on on Twitter. I, yeah, I didn't have Twitter back then, so I had no idea about this. <laughs> no, that's fair. I, make sure, I didn't win. I was. <laughs> hey, at least you submitted it. At least you knew about it. This is the first time hearing about it. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm just, I, I wish I could remember what it was for. I don't remember like what you won or anything, but yeah, there was a contest for it. And I thought it was pretty cool back then because they were like, you really. Have your photo? Can you dig through your like drive to see if you have your photo? <laughs> um, <laughs> Ooh, I know I still have my brother's photo. Oh my God, your brother did it. <laughs> it was Hudson's idea. He's like, hey, in case if you don't <laughs> win, That's he's fair. like, maybe your brother. So let me see here. I'll have to really dig to you find have it. To dig. If I, I do, I'll send photos, it to you. Yes. <laughs> this EP, was kind of, it was a very nice special treat. Like I know Nicole and I said, we both did not know what EPs were. So I, I was pretty new to both of us, but it was nice to see he get a couple more songs from Black Hope Rides after Set the World on Fire. And I know most people know that, and I think, Andy even said this during a loud wire interview or Kerrang or AP. Uh, that coffin originally was supposed it was a 13th song that they were working on for set the world on fire but i think due to time management and stuff they just couldn't have enough time to really polish it so they left it out unfortunately and so they included it into the ep when they had more time to really polish it all the fine details of it i was flabbergasted uh when i heard him say that same thing i I think were you did you watch like the loud wire interview or whatever it was no so okay i did my research (laughs) I honestly f- completely forgot about these until I found them. And I'm like, wow. Yeah, I remember them now. So on Blackville Bride's YouTube account, they made teasers for this EP. Did you? I honestly forgot yeah, about all of those. I forgot I about those teasers. And so when I was watching them again, one of them, you can hear Andy's voice talking about Coffin. I'm like. The working title for the song is called Coffin been the 13th song in total for Set the World on Fire, but we didn't really feel like we had enough time to really devote to the song. It's a great song, and so now being able to revisit it a couple months later with a fresh start on it, it's been great. Wow! And then there's another teaser for he singing Rebel Yells, and I forgot the other one, but the teasers for it, I'm just like, this is old, (laughs) BBB. I know! I loved when they would do stuff back then like that, though. I thought that was like just, it was so cool. They were so interactive on the YouTube channel. It was it was that too that I saw when he was speaking about Coffin. And he also did like another interview with yeah. someone. I don't remember. But I remember, uh, yeah, hearing him say the thing about Coffin. Like, it just shocked me because that is not a song that I would have ever expected to be on the Set the World on Fire album. But I'm really glad that it's actually not a part of it. Because I guess hearing it in the Rebels EP, it seems it suits that more. Yeah, like, I understand. I can kind of see how they wanted it in that uh, Set the World on Fire album, except, I don't know, I feel like it's a different tone than the whole album itself. So, like, I yeah. definitely agree with you how I, I appreciate, like, they still included Coffin just in the EP and in just the hearing the sound of the EP, the Coffin during that and whole Set the World on Fire. Again, beautiful song. I just feel like Coffin has a different sound than the albums that the world on fire because i'm more like it's like it's at the world on fire it's like yeah screams and in your face like 80 glam rock and stuff and here's coffin where it's like yes it is but i don't know i can't think of words to describe it it's like i think it's because of the music video because when you yeah. watch the music video and one in it you know he once again he's closing the coffin on his yeah. past self mm-hmm. if that were to be the same video and song released for set the world on fire i think it would have been confusing i think it would have been i i i yeah okay side note i'm just thinking of the music video i really love andy's hair in that oh, I music video i love that hairstyle andy please bring it back i love it <laughs> that is everyone's favorite too i it's feel everyone's of- favorite. oh my god it's yeah. so fucking sexy and gorgeous hi andy. <laughs> <laughs> like it really brought out his blue eyes i loved it please bring it back no i love your long hair that you have going on right now it's just that hairstyle that one please bring it back please and thank you <laughs> it just brings out all your facial features andy it does. so that was their only original song though for yep. the rebels ep the other two songs were cover songs cover songs so rebels yell as everyone knows it was a cover song from billy idol <laughs> yes i love that song by billy idol too and i really love that we got 
uh, cover songs from Black for Brides because I feel obviously we know that they can put out banger originals, mm-hmm. but it's cool to know that they can also do a cover of somebody else's song and they do not disappoint. They don't. I love Rebel Yells. I was so grateful for my very first Warped Tour experience. They played that live uh, and I, it was really cool to secure it live. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes i i don't think i heard them play it live at my warp tour but i heard them play it live at the church of the wild ones tour uh, but i'm glad we both heard that song live though and like yeah. mine was warp tour and yours was the church of the wild ones so question then mm-hmm. because we all know there's this one lyric part in that song and i just want to know if how he sung it for you if he did it any oh, different gosh. Because at at, uh, Church of the Wild Ones tour, he straight up said, when I'm tired and lonely, and he just went, she sucks my I was like, bro. I honestly cannot remember. Like, I know I took footage of it on my very, very, very fancy old iPod type deal, but... (laughs) um, I know an iPod that films. Who knew? I don't think I can't honestly remember. All I remember is them in the chorus. She's my mom, mom, mom. That's all I could remember. I don't remember much about that lyric, so I can't can't tell you that. (laughs) No, that's fair. I, I know that some people... When it was happening, when they were singing that song live, a lot of people were like, oh my God, like, but I heard he was changing it up. So I wasn't sure. No idea. No idea. I didn't even know about that because I knew the Church of the Wild Ones tour was announced, broke my soul. But again, I was brand new to social media. So like, I didn't really see a lot in social media about that tour besides the Brian Stars interview. So... (laughs) No, that's that's completely fair. But I did like it though. I think the crowd at Warped Tour really loved it. Like we were all like washing and doing that with them and stuff. So it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, I think Rebel Yell was like a really excellent choice uh, for them to cover. Moving on to their other cover, which is was a Kiss cover, Unholy, which Unholy. featured Zach Wild. Unholy. Okay. To be, I know we always talk about underdogs Unholy. when it comes to uh albums i honestly truly think unholy is an underdog for this mm-hmm. movie. Like, oh for like, sure i feel like a lot of fans don't always forget about unholy it's either they always forget about it or they just didn't like it i mean it is like i obviously when the song first up it's like unholy <laughs> i think you have to be like a real i think you at least have to be into kiss to yeah. at least appreciate and like the song i guess if you don't know kiss and then hearing black for brides play that and not really knowing it's a cover it could throw you off a bit maybe i don't know i do remember listening to it and it was very heavy i do remember that and i did not know zach was a part of what's featured in it until i like looked it up online i personally like the heaviness of it just that i love the intro just like unholy oh, <laughs> yeah i i mean obviously i appreciate the heaviness of it as well and at the time i didn't realize that that was zach wilde that was on guitar doing the solo i always thought that was jake and i was like oh so because like I saw that it said featuring Zach Wilde, but I thought as like a singer yeah. and when I never heard that part. I'm like, huh. And then going back and doing research on it and then finding out, oh, like Zach Wilde, part of like Black Label Society, blah, 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 being the guitarist. I was like, that's pretty cool. And to know that like they got to do that alongside him, I think is really nice. It was cool. I just loved the whole song about it. Honestly, I, I kind of wish I caught, got that at Warped Tour, but hey, I'm happy I got Rebel Yells, but I wanted to really hear Unholy Life though. <laughs> Ooh. I would kill to hear that live. And it would be even, it would be cool too, since like Zach Wilde was featured on it. If they like just happen to do a tour together, he can just come out and shred on the guitar too, right? Like it would work out. I know, I know, it's crazy. I do know when this EP was announced, I think I saw in one, I can't remember the website I was looking at, but I think BVB was somewhat either on tour or going on tour for opening for Event Sevenfold when this EP came out. Yes, um, because that i'm trying to remember what tour that was because i bought I tickets was, to that wasn't tour it, wasn't it mine I, sorry i think i saw mine it was burning and alive i could be wrong though no so that's the thing i can't remember it um only because like i was supposed We're to go to mine burning. there you go sorry <laughs> yeah mine was my tour date was in november but it got canceled because that's when andy broke his nose so that's the one that i like i wasn't 
able to attend but i do know that you are correct on that they were touring around that time yeah they were touring and it said it was their opening act or something for event sevenfold so there was that one Mm -hmm. and yeah i i want to say it was the live and burning tour but i could be completely wrong with that (laughs) i know that there's two covers and there's original but like out of the whole three songs do you have like a favorite off of it Original, obviously, Coffin, and it's yeah. my favorite Blackfoot Brides music video as of right now. I really love the music video, and but I also love Rebels Yell just because I feel like it's a classic. Everyone knows that song. I love how they interpreted the cover of Billy Idol, and plus, seeing them in Warped Tour, that was like my second time seeing them live again, even though it wasn't a headlining show. It was Warped Tour, but it was I was so excited to see them again before you know college year started and stuff so i just hear that i don't know so it's like it's between those two okay that's fair i i really i mean i agree it is hard because it's three songs but i think just like growing up like with my parents introducing me to like growing me up on kiss and billy that's idol fair. mine would have to be between those two probably i probably lean more towards rebel yell just because i was introduced to billy idol first there. and my mom like had the hot major hots for him yeah. so was, we were always listening to billy idol in the car can i tell you a funny story how i got introduced to billy idol oh please do internet do not come after me this is how i got introduced to billy idol the classic rom-com movie by adam sandler the wedding singer really mm-hmm. i mean, but that's not a bad thing though my dad like that movie and so one day i walked in watching him that movie and he let me watch it with him and then billy idol was in that plane and then he their, his music was playing in the background too and then the character that adam sandler was playing ran into him and he got his help from him to get his girl who was played by drew barrymore and stuff and like i was hearing all these songs in the background of billy idol i'm like why do i like and then i asked my dad like who is is like i literally thought because i was so young so i was just like is Billy Idol like a real thing or did they just make him up for this movie it's like no he's a real singer and I'm like really (laughs) see but that's fair like to be honest I've been in the same situations with other like artists that have been in movies and then it's it's weird because then when you actually do like see their music on YouTube or on CDs Mm -hmm. and you're like oh yeah i didn't realize it's like that's totally fair but i think that's pretty awesome that's how you were introduced to him that was the wedding singer by Sandler. <laughs> yep that was it that was the movie I'm gonna go on youtube and do some research now <laughs> it's a good movie i like it it's one it of is my, a good movie it's my <laughs> one of my favorite rom-com movies but like that's how i was introduced to billy idols <laughs> but see that's what's really cool though is uh, you can get introduced to artists through like it anything and everything Mm -hmm. one thing i wanted to ask you about this ep because i saw it everywhere is okay so obviously we have these three songs but they also included so this is why i think they had hard copies because they also included a six minute director cut for rebel love song in this ep see that's the other thing that i saw too i saw that released on youtube though is the music video six minutes? I want to say it is. I'm going to look it up. The director's cut it anyway. On the YouTube of the UV, it's four minutes. <laughs> With the whole music video With put the together? the whole music video, yeah. And everywhere I looked... Oh, here's a... See, look, okay. Here's the thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Sorry, I'm just like now reliving high school years of... Okay, that's the director's cut. That's how it starts. Yeah. I don't... I remember this now. God, my core memory just got released yeah i was about to say i was like i know this one is a six minute one although i don't think this Mm -hmm. one was released on the black Bride's youtube channel because it's not showing up this is like a fan re-uploaded or something that's weird because i don't remember the thing is i saw it i just can't remember where i watched it now because it was so long ago it was long ago like i honestly forgot about all of this until the opening scene (laughs) well you know where i think it actually might have been released now that i'm thinking about it it was probably, remember how you used to have like Black Fire Bride used to do those BVB Army membership cards and they actually, you know, for anyone that doesn't know, when you go to Black Fire Bride's website, it's like their shop, their official webpage where you can shop for merchandise or you can see like new tour dates and get tickets. But before all of that, like, yes, it was that, but before that, like way back when they first started, it was also like a really crazy, cool, like almost like a blog type thing. Cause it would have all like the latest interviews on there, all the latest well, news on there. Their, 
uh, teasers came out, they go go follow us at www.bbbarmy.com or something. Which I yeah, don't so I'm so wondering. Available, unfortunately, <laughs> I know, and it breaks my heart. But like, that's why I got really excited. I think it was back in 2020 or 2020 or 20. I think it was 2020 when they released those membership cards again. I, that's why I was getting excited because I thought, oh my god, they're they're doing it again. I was like, hey, they're gonna do it again. And then when nothing came of it, I was like, mm. hey, at mm-hmm. least they got membership cards because. I didn't know that until I was in college. And so I was like, wow, I miss hardcore right there. You got a card. And I think it was if you got like perks, if you showed it at like the merch booth at concerts, I never okay. like showed it I or anything. sheltered from online stuff. Like I had to debate with my mom just to make a Facebook, let alone in MySpace. So, <laughs> or <See>. email. <laughs> no, I, I totally understand so I that. Didn't I didn't have like Twitter and stuff. So I'm sure those were announced on Twitter. I didn't really see much on YouTube because I spent a lot of time on YouTube, but I do remember watching those trailers and seeing that website and stuff, but I don't remember any much about it. So now that recalls, because I think someone re-uploaded the six minute director cut Rebel Love Song on YouTube where I saw it. So, because like, there's the four minute one that's released on BBB's YouTube account official. And then there's mm-hmm. some fan re-uploaded the six minutes, six minute version. So. Yeah. And I'm wondering, as I said, I'm wondering if that was originally released onto that BBB Army. I'm going to say website. yes, because that makes sense. <laughs> so I was going to say, I was like, but girl, I know I watched it. Like, yeah, I no, like, I, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to assume that. <laughs> Black for Brides, bring back the website, please. I want you guys to bring back the website, and I also want to bring bring back the black box description, okay? (gasps) Thank you! Oh my god, I'm still so salty because I subscribed and only got one box. Where's my other two that came out? you got one. I know. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Girl, let me just tell you this quick story about that. I had no money in my account. I was literally giving up paying a bill for that. (laughs) because i didn't care i was like for bbb i swear literally though that's how it was i do want to talk about the beautiful beautiful cover of this ep as most fans do know richard villa did the beautiful artwork of this cover of the ep so here's a fun fact i didn't know this for the longest time until chris beersack told me maybe told both of us at the same time i can't remember that everyone's assumes the guy wearing the rebels jacket on the cover is andy himself because that's what we all assume because it looks like it kind of resembles andy what especially the long hair he had back then and stuff that's not andy <laughs> I, I i i was guilty in school for thinking it was me andy too too. i was guilty until so i think when chris told us that i was like wait what that's not andy he's like no that's not andy that was just some random guy i guess who had the similar hairstyle and like i either i don't know the whole story i i can't i don't even remember that either he told him to pose with the jacket or he Richard just painted the jacket on him and stuff but that is not Andy for anyone who's watching and listening about the EV uh Rebels EP man in the photo not Andy <laughs> and and it's crazy too because it as Ruth said looks 100% like the back of Andy from Set the World on Fire Days but gasp it's, it's not. not which blew my mind so if I blew anyone else's mind you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's kind of cool that it's not Andy because in a way I feel like it's supposed to resemble like a fan yeah I a think fan that was who idea. was a rebel yeah and a fan of BBB honestly when I first saw the cover of the, like obviously the signature jacket my mind went to like those motorcycle groups when they ride and stuff oh yeah it It also reminded me of the music video that lady gaga did called judas because in the intro of that music video she has it where she's riding on uh with a group of motorcycles and they all have these names on their back of their chest uh vest and jacket so that's where because that music video came out before this album was released Uh, like this one this music video came out in may of the same year so that's where my head went i'm like oh i can kind of say it like it kind of reminds me of the judas music video and the bikers wear those type of jackets and stuff so yeah along with the cover art i really enjoy the background of it where it's like that red moon like a red blood moon almost is it a red blood moon? i you know it's been a minute let me look this up right now um, oh yeah yeah i don't know why i was thinking of flames okay yeah it's like a yeah yeah like a blood moon type deal mm-hmm. i thought that was always like pretty cool and creative which i'm sure once again gave people like vampire modes well, but i don't I know I this think album i was like oh it's like a second album ep songs to set the world on fire which in a way it was just because of the color scheme mm-hmm. in the blood moon or who knows we could be wrong and that's that's actually the sun yeah that's true it could be the sun we could totally be wrong but i think 
that is also why I just highly enjoyed it as from what you said is it's like a piece from set the world on fire Mm -hmm. and obviously that album has the flames and then like this we go into a blood moon it's like oh is this like the aftermath right i love the cover i mean richard does a spectacular job when he does these cover albums with bbb and stuff like i care i again really want to talk to him and see like say what is the creative process when you paint these covers for black bill brides like obviously i'm sure andy has ideas that you listen and stuff and then you put your own creative work and twists and stuff to it and i'm sure andy loves it and stuff so it's just like ugh. Richard, I really want to talk to you, sir. I really just want to dissect your brain. His work is so flawless and he adds so much detail to it. The amount of details that I can't even do is ridiculous. Like, sir, you are a talented artist. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just, I, I really hope that maybe the next album Black Phil Brides releases, it's going to be a Richard Villa. I know. Art. That'd be great. Richard, we miss your artwork. I mean, don't get me wrong. The... We stitch, we we stitch these bones was nice, and also the Phantom Tomorrow was nice. Even the Morning EP was nice, but I'm just mm-hmm. like I miss your touch. I like I can I recognize your art style now, Richard. I really yeah. do. So overall, I think for Rebels EP being their first EP, like it didn't disappoint. It was honestly really cool to get original song and to get two cover songs. Mm-hmm. It was a nice treat. I mean, like, that's one thing I like about BBB is, like, even if there's one album out, and I know they're still working on it, they give us something to hold yeah. us for their next album and stuff. So I think that's why I appreciate their EPs, where it's just like, here's something small for you guys to hang on to before we release the actual out, al- like, a bigger album and stuff. So I Oh, really- and that's literally how it was. Here's a, here's a little treat here's to, you know, hold treat. you over before Wretched and Divine. Yeah, I was not ready for Wretched and <laughs> Divine. I don't think anyone was. I oh wasn't re- ready for Wretched and Divine. So there you go. <laughs> Wonderful al- uh, EP and stuff. I want to say album. It's not. EP of Rebels. It's on iTunes. It's pretty much on all streaming music platforms you can find. It's, uh, it's a good lesson for sure. Please do not skip any of the EPs because they're actually really good songs. And like this one for the first mm-hmm. one, like Nicole said, we got an original with Coffin. And then we got the two cover songs. And obviously that's six minute director's cut for a Rebel Love Song that people can find online now. So anyone, as far as I know we discussed this in the beginning. As far as we know, this was not a hard copy. But if you have a hard copy, please tell us how you got it. We would love a hard copy of Rebel ZP. I could I, I'm I could be shooting myself in the foot saying that I do not know. Because I swear there wasn't a hard copy. Oh, that was the Fallen Angels thing. So I don't That's know. fair. Well, let's just say this then. We all know that most most bands EPs are never mm-hmm. a hard copy. It's mostly something that you just get to listen to um through iTunes or any kind of streaming platform. But I really hope that, you know, just one day the EPs could be released as little sheeties, you know, like it, like, like the little Temple of Love one that I bought at oh, yeah, the, um, the it's group, like, yeah. yeah, like it's not like a hard cover. It's kind of, well, where is it? Oh, yeah, where'd you put it? <laughs> oh my God. Right behind my back. It's like <laughs> small like this. So mm-hmm. like you can see, it's not like a hard case. It's literally just like a little Dude, casing I... and then the CDs inside, like. You should do that with the EPs. BBB, do that for a holiday drop. Do Rebels EP, the night, the morning, just like that Temple Love um cover that you did with B- BB. So I think that would be bomb to have for fans, for collectors of BBB stuff. I mean, come on. I think we need that. Literally, I know the night only having two songs. I'd still I don't play care. It like it's a beautiful era of purple. <laughs> don't even care. Like, listen to the two songs for hours on end. Don't even care. Dude. That's what I'm just saying. Like, they would, I think they do really well selling. I think people, and just, you know, people who like to collect that kind of stuff in general would just enjoy having it. Please, BBB, holiday drop. Just make, like, a limited edition copies and units and then we will purchase them (laughs) we will and then for any fan that had does not know about rebels ep if you were not aware definitely go check it out and if you are aware of rebels ep let us know like what your thoughts were on this little ep the cover songs and the original bbb army today's fan shout out goes to and i want to apologize if i butchered your name i'm so sorry um saya her or their twitter at is going to be at saya underscore fight 
Um, today's fan shout out goes to you because we have been seeing on the Hearts to Hearts page that you are not only are you following us, but you're a huge supporter of our channel. Um, you basically retweet almost everything that we do, and we just can't thank you enough for the support. Um, that just means so much to us and just supporting both Ruth and I and our everyday lives beyond this also means so much to us. And just thank you for being a dedicated fan to Black Veil Bride. Just thank you so much again for all your support. And, you know, if you haven't seen Black Veil Brides, we hope that you get the chance to see Black Veil Brides live. If you were able to go to the sh their tour that was this year, we hope, you know, that you had a wonderful time. If not, we hope that you get to see them next time. Again, thank you so much. Fan shout out goes to you. Well, I know this episode was short, but we hope you guys enjoyed it of our discussion and inputs with the lovely first EP that BBB released out, uh, Rebels EP. So we again, leave us your thoughts. Which song did you like? Did you like your thoughts on the cover and stuff? The six minute director cut music video of Rebel Love Song and stuff? Please let us know your thoughts. Yeah, just let us know which song is absolutely your favorite off the EP. Um, we will be back next week with another episode. For anyone that doesn't know, we are on all streaming platforms. You can literally check us out anywhere. If you're watching on YouTube, you know what you should do? You should totally smash that subscribe button. You and hit the bell the notification. That way you can get notified. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way you can always know when we're when we have a new episode out every Wednesday. In case you didn't know. Lot. Yes, next week we'll have a new episode. I it's a special treat. <laughs> Did you special treat? At least for Nicole. Nicole will now feel my pain. <laughs> I have a feeling you're gonna be evil to me. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I'm hey, I'm still beating myself up for your favorite movie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's okay though. Like I was I was, mad. I, was I was shocked. I'm not mad. Not, no. You should be, you have every right to be mad at me. <laughs> anyway, yes. Next week, we're coming with a birthday episode. My birthday episode, so. <laughs> She's going to be evil to me. She's going to do Harry Potter. I know it. Maybe. I can't say that for sure, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if she does Harry Potter, we all know I'm going to lose. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Tune in next week to see if I'm going to be evil to Nicole or nice to Nicole. So. <laughs> find out next week next week we'll see you guys next week thank you bye, bye.